If you're thinking about becoming a guinea pig owner this year, then this is the video for you. Guinea pigs make amazing pets, but knowing whether they're right for you, preparing for them and giving them the best care isn't always easy. Face facts, for new owners there's a lot of guinea pig information out there on the internet, but not all of it is useful. I've owned and researched guinea pigs for over 16 years, so in this video we're going to cover what to expect as a new guinea pig owner, what things you need to prepare for them, where to get your new guinea pigs from, and at the end of the video I'll share my 5 top tips for every new owner. Let's start with that all important question, what is it like to be a guinea pig owner today? Rewinding to 20 or 30 years ago, people used to bring their guinea pigs home, pop them in a hutch in the garden and only really visit them at feeding time and for cleaning out chores. And it's this traditional way of keeping guinea pigs which means they've developed the reputation for being boring disposable pets. But in general, those traditional ways aren't followed anymore. People don't want to keep their guinea pigs and rabbits in a cold dark hutch in the garden anymore. They want to bring them into their home, to interact with them as they would cats and dogs and make them feel part of the family. So in today's world you can expect to spend time with your guinea pigs every day, to form a close connection with them and to really appreciate their company. If you've got your heart set on getting guinea pigs or piggies as I like to call them, then let's have a look at your basic starter supplies. I'd recommend having all of this stuff in advance and doing some research so you don't get something, bring your pigs home, only to realise you should have gone for a different option. Let's start off with one of the most important things which is your guinea pigs home or their cage and I cannot recommend strongly enough for new owners that you keep your guinea pigs inside with you. Indoor cages mean you are closer to your guinea pigs and they are safe from the risk of predators and extreme temperatures. When I brought my first ever guinea pigs home I had a lovely hutch all set up for them in the garage. I didn't really think that the garage only had one small window and it was going to be awkward for me to go out of the house and back in through the garage door to see them. It was only about two months later that I bought a big indoor cage for them and from that moment on they lived with me inside in my bedroom. <laughs> their cage should be the right size for two piggies or bigger for more. Pet shops are still unfortunately dominated by unsuitable cages that are simply too small. So use the guinea pig cage size chart to help make sure you get one big enough and consider DIY cage options. Often these are cheaper and can be designed to fit with exactly what you need. And I'll go ahead and pop my video on the six best indoor cages down in the description below if you want to check it out. With the cage decided on, next up is what sort of bedding to go for. Well there are a few different options, you can pick newspaper and hay or other natural beddings or wood shavings or something that's becoming increasingly more popular and that is fleece. bedding is something you can always change and experiment with and find out what works best for you. So have something ready to start with and you can always change it. Then you need your initial basic supplies. Guinea pigs will use a medium sized plastic or glass water bottle, one or two per pair of piggies is fine. Then you'll want a sturdy heavy based bowl for their pellets and then you'll want some other things in their cage like a tunnel for them to run through, one or two hideys and some toys for enrichment. If you have a look in the description below you'll find links to my Amazon storefronts with all the guinea pig products I use and recommend. And I'll also soon be making a video on the best cage accessories for guinea pigs too so keep Keep an eye out for that one. Along with their cage setup and their accessories are the basics for their diet. And the most important thing that guinea pigs eat is hay. Good quality hay keeps guinea pigs healthy and it should be unlimited and freely accessible in the cage at all times. Most guinea pigs also eat a dry pellet food. This shouldn't be one of those muesli ones but a plain pellet that prevents selective feeding. I'd suggest taking a look at Burgess, Oxbow, Science Selective and Small Pet Select as some examples. And fresh vegetables should also form a part of your guinea pig's diet. You don't need to go crazy with loads of different ones in the beginning but just be aware that you might spend a little bit extra 
extra on your shopping every week. So you can get them a selection of four or five vegetables, say, per week, and they'll have a small amount of each one every day. Guinea pigs can also enjoy fresh grass and forages from the garden, or anywhere you know the grass and plants are safe to be picked, washed and eaten. Next up, I want to briefly chat about where to get your new guinea pigs from. And yes, I do have a specific video on this, so I'll put the link to that in the description if you want to learn more. But basically, my advice is to look into different options before resorting to a pet shop. For starters, there are many guinea pig rescues out there who rehome piggies of all ages. And rescue pigs make equally as good pets. Over half of my guinea pigs have been rescues, including Pedro here. And it's really great to support the amazing work that rescues do. If you have your heart set on baby guinea pigs, then do still contact rescues near you to find out if they have any pregnant females, because they usually do. The other option is to look into responsible breeders before looking at pet shops. But wherever you choose to get them from, make sure that you get a sense from the seller that they genuinely care about the guinea pig's welfare. And they should also strongly advise that you get more than one guinea pig. Piggies are happier and healthier in groups or pairs, and I think the best option for any new owner is to go for either two males or two females. Soon that super exciting day comes around for you to bring your new guinea pigs home, so it's good to know what to expect in those first few days and how to help them settle in. In most cases, expect them to be scared at first, especially if they are only young. And this is kind of normal scared baby guinea pig behaviour. So if yours are doing this and you've only just got them and they're only also eight weeks old like these girls are, this is probably what you're expecting to see. You might need to do some cleaning, but try not to disturb them too much and if you're worried they aren't eating then pop a bit of hay, a few pellets and a few pieces of fresh vegetable next to the entrance of wherever they're hiding so they can come out and grab the food and then go back inside. Also it can take a little while for baby guinea pigs to get to grips with using the water bottle but don't worry this is fairly normal and young guinea pigs will get a lot of the moisture they need from eating those fresh vegetables and I've always found that putting the water bottle next to the dry pellet food is a really good way to encourage them to to come out and find the water bottle. After a week or so, they will be more settled and you can start taming and bonding with them. Still, expect them to be timid for several months. Taming is a slow process, especially for the shyest of guinea pigs. And again, I'll pop some of my best taming videos in the description below so you can learn some techniques to use with your new piggies. After your guinea pigs are home and settled, there's still a lot to get to grips with for caring for them. So the next five tips are some care essentials for new owners, some things which are super quick to realise, but others that I've had to learn over a longer period of time. Firstly, they do make a lot of mess and some cleaning is needed every day. So as a guide with fleece bedding and four piggies in this cage, I clean out the litter tray every day and I do a poop sweep two or three times a day. Tip number two is that you'll notice your guinea pigs eating a lot of hay. So I'd really recommend trying to get the best quality hay you can and if possible, supplement your regular meadow hay with a high quality Timothy hay. Tip number three is to continue to spend time taking taming and bonding with them. Try to do cuddle time and if you can, floor time with them at least a couple of times a week and you'll soon come to notice that they are a lot calmer and more confident around you. Tip number four is to provide enrichment for them, but it doesn't have to be in the form of treats from the pet shop which can be unhealthy. Try things like making hideys out of cardboard boxes and hay holders from cardboard tubes, using paper bags in the cage and creating a fun safe space for them outside of the cage. Tip number five is an important one and something I wished I had realised earlier on. As you own your guinea pigs for longer and they get past a couple of years in age, make sure you are aware of the most common health problems and that you put some money aside and have a good vet available. Also, arrange a vet visit as soon as you notice something is wrong with one of your piggies. If you're embarking on your guinea pig journey this year, then best of luck and I really hope this video has been helpful for you. And when it's ready, I will pop that cage accessories video here in the end screen for you to watch next. Bye bye!